What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day today. So today I'm going to be talking about Natto Ape. It's this brand I found not too long ago. And I'm specifically going to be talking about their Spring Summer 2023 collection. So Natto Ape is a Japanese streetwear brand and they were founded in Tokyo in 2017. And they are inspired by the street style they see every day. And they obsess over making garments for every day, everywhere, and for anybody. They hope that their collections are an antidote to the endless hype cycle and fast fashion worlds. And their name stems from their belief that creative expression is what truly separates them from primates. They unite, they express, and they elevate. They are not so ape. So my first impression and my first unboxing experience with Not So Ape, it was a little bit underwhelming, and that's just because I have such a high expectation whenever it comes to just the unboxing experience I like to have. This nice packaging and a nice wrapping, and this packaging just came in just like a regular brown box. I mean that was okay, but like I just like wanted something more just because like I know it's a brand coming from Tokyo so I have a certain expectation whenever brands coming from Tokyo or, or Japan in general. The one thing I did like about their packaging was that in every clothing garment they did include a clothing tag and it had their their logo on it and this looked really nice so that was one thing I did really like about their unboxing or my unboxing experience. Yeah I don't know I'm just like really picky whenever it comes to unboxings. I like to have like this grandiose type of Unboxing. I don't know, it's just whenever a clothing brand has their own unique experience whenever it comes to the unboxing. I don't know, I just like whenever a clothing brand just has a nice unboxing experience and it just makes like the whole, like your first experience just a whole lot more meaningful. So for the product details, I got three different types of clothing items. I got this mesh jersey that I'm wearing right now. I got a cam collar shirt, then I got two trucker hats. The shirt that I'm wearing right now, the mesh shirt, it's, it's a regular jersey. It's 100% mesh, it's very breathable. So you can wear it in the summertime and springtime whenever it's hot outside. Right now it's like really hot outside so it's the perfect time to wear it. In the middle of the shirt it has Tokyo, which is where Natsu Ape's from. As for the colors of the shirt, it's a very neutral tone color shirt. The only thing that really does stand out is the middle, it's just the Tokyo lettering. And as for the sizing, I did get a size medium just because on the website it did say if it's a little bit oversized and they are true, to, it's true to a certain extent. Just because I'm five foot eight, 160 pounds, and if it's a little oversized, but it's not too big. I wish it was a little bit more oversized. I should have got the size up. I should have went with the large, but I mean, it is what it is. It still fits a little bit oversized, but I, w I wish it would fit more baggy. It's a little bit tight on my arms and my shoulder area, but other than that, it fits really good. It's very breathable. The way I usually like to style this is I put like a tank underneath or if I'm feeling like spicy I guess I would just like no tank and just like with this rock the mesh jersey. A cool thing that I noticed about this jersey is that there's two different types of mesh linings. So on the upper half of the body it's this maroon mesh and then on the bottom half it's this navy blue mesh and not so I put them two together and they sew them together and it just makes this really cool texture and it just looks overall like very unique. So for the next clothing item that I got from Not So Ape, it was their trucker hats. I got them in two different colorways, the pink and green colorway and the brown and cream. My favorite colorway out of those two different trucker hats that I got would definitely have to be the pink and green. I like all the colors that are going on in that one trucker hat. The brown and cream is really good too, but I just see myself wearing that trucker hat more in the fall than rather than in the spring and summer. And the pink and green I've been wearing it a lot recently. I've been wearing it in a lot of my outfits. And like whenever my hair grows out, I just like put on that trucker hat just because I find that it goes with a lot of my outfits. The materials that Not Safe uses for their trucker hats is mesh and polyester. And they also use embroidery for this, the letters that they embroider. In the back of the trucker hats, it's just all mesh. And in the front, it's all polyester. And one thing that I found really interesting about their trucker hats was that they chose to go with the polyester and the lid of the trucker hat. And on most trucker hats, it's just mostly cotton. I mean, it's like not movable. As for the design details on the trucker hats, in the front it says we are made of the stars and there's stars like all around the front of the trucker hats and it has their name not so ape on it and i do like the theme that not so ape's choosing to go for in their spring summer 2023 collection i don't know i just like love space and i love looking at the stars and anything has to do with astrology i love it so it's just cool that not so ape's doing that as for the sizing of the trucker hats it could fit a really big head a really small head just because it has an adjustable strap. Now for my favorite clothing item out of this whole collection that I bought is their oversized camp collar shirt. And whenever I first got this shirt, I didn't know that there was a design in the back of it. I mean, I saw it on the website, but like that wasn't until I put it in my cart and I was looking over 
all the items that I bought. And I noticed that there is a graphic in the back of the, the shirt. The design's really nice, it's screen printed. So that's just like another nice detail that I do like. I love screen printing. And if you guys don't know anything about screen printing, I would recommend just to go to an art class and learn about it just because I do think it's a really great experience and you guys should learn it. And it's its own art form. So the shirt, it's an oversized button down shirt with an open collar and it features a large breast pocket. And in the back it features their spring, summer, not so ape circle logo. And it's of course designed and made in Japan. It's 100% polyester, so it's very breathable in the spring and summer. And if you guys were to wear the shirt in the fall, I would recommend us to wear a heavy cotton shirt with this overshirt and you guys would be set. One cool detail that I do like about this camp collar shirt is that it looks like it's reflective. Like if you look at it from a certain angle, it looks reflective and you could like, if you rub your hand against it, I don't know, it just like feels very nice. And it's just a really cool touch of detail that Not So Ape chose to go with. And honestly, the cam collar shirt is probably my favorite over shirt or my favorite cam collar shirt that I do own. I only own like two of them. I have my Billionaire Boys Club and that shirt was like two times as much, maybe three times. No, it was probably two times as much as my shirt that I got from Not So Ape. And I honestly do think that Not So Ape's material is a lot better. I think it's a lot more durable. As for the stitching, it's done very nice. There's no frame. It's not uncomfortable. It feels very breathable. And it's a really good camp collar shirt. And I would recommend 100% for you guys to go and buy it. And I'm not getting paid to say that. It's just I do feel strongly about this shirt. And it's I think it's only like $85. So that's a really good deal. So as for the pros and cons, I would say all throughout the pros are all that it's very well made, it's very well constructed, and I see nothing wrong in the quality. The only cons that I do have is, there's a couple, I'll name it in like every single clothing item. So for like the trucker hats, the one big like issue I did have was that on the inside of the trucker hat, there's this really big tag that goes alongside the lining of the mesh and I think it looks a little bit goofy. That's not really too big of a deal, you can just cut it off. So it's like nothing too big. And the only con that I do have about the mesh jersey and it's not even not so Abe's fault, it's more of my fault. I got a size medium and I should have got a size large. I wish it fit like a little bit bigger. That's the only thing. And as for the cons of the camp collar shirt, I think it's a perfect camp collar shirt and I couldn't find anything wrong or anything that I didn't like about that shirt. For this first outfit, I wanted to go with something very casual. Up top, we got our trucker hat from Not So Ape. And the shirt I'm wearing, it's also from Not So Ape. It's their mesh jersey. And then what I'm wearing on my bottom, it's just these jorts that I made. If you guys want to go see how I made them, go look at it. It's on my Instagram. Yeah, I really like this outfit just because it's very casual and it's just simple to wear. Now for this next outfit, the only thing that I did change was just the pants, just because I like to just play around with these different colors, like in the bottom half of the mesh jersey, you see there's a darker navy blue, and I wanted to play around with that darker color, so then I added these pants from Dickies, I thought it would make a really cool silhouette, looks like it's just like one color, and so for this next outfit, I decided to go with something a little bit more casual, so up top, we got their pink and green trucker hat from Not So Ape, and then we also have their camp collar shirt from Not So Ape, and then what I'm wearing underneath the camp collar shirt, it's the black tank top, and then on the bottom, I'm wearing these white corduroy pants, that I thrifted not too long ago. And then on what I'm wearing on my feet is Mason Mihari Ashiro's. So in conclusion, Not So Ape, it's a very well-made brand. They know what they're doing. It's made in Tokyo, Japan. And honestly, I don't have like too many bad things to say about this brand. You guys should go check it out. I'll leave everything linked in the description. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys can. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a really great time making this video. And if you guys have any questions, just comment in down below. Or if you guys want to talk to me, you can just look in the description. I have my Instagram in there. So you guys just go DM me if you guys want to. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys. Peace.